Welcome to a Land Doctor's Construction Profile. This time, we'll be taking a look at a project that began as a simple land sale, turned into a small building project, and became a dream property for some of the nicest clients that we've ever encountered. Let's join Master Builder Ron Ward and the Spence family to see how they turned a simple piece of land into everything they ever wanted. My daughter has a uh, husband who's a avid hunter, and he's from Oklahoma, so... That's what really got I think us. that's what really pulled mm -hmm. us up this way. His family's all up here. We started looking up here and realizing that prices were a lot better, and we liked the people, and we looked at a lot of properties with Chrissy, and we found this one, and it kind of spoke to us because we had the ponds and the trees, and mom and dad being from Louisiana liked trees, <laughs> so... Um, we walked all over the property trying to figure out where exactly we wanted to build and I was walking up down with the, I kind of went here because I wanted to see the pond right out the window. So that was sort of how we picked the spot and picked the property. Well, we found out that Dallas was a long way to drive and turn around and come back in one day and there wasn't any place to sleep. We needed a place to sleep. I think the kids came up two or three times in their pickup truck and just slept in the truck. They wanted to be on this land, the grandkids, so much. And we had to do that. And I, I think we also wanted to build the barn dove first because we wanted to make sure that this was the right decision. Uh, before we invested all of the money into the bigger house, I think we wanted to make sure that we liked living up here, or mom and dad liked living up here, and the kids were gonna come up and use it enough. And it was a good compromise for, so if that was all we ever built, we'd still be happy with it. At that point in time, they had were pretty sure that they wanted to build this larger home over here. So during the process of the build of the Barndo, uh, we went ahead and, and sized the sewer system for the house and the barn dough, and we also did the same thing for the electric service coming in. The big difference on a barn dough than, you know, versus this is it seems like, and it does, it normally takes a little bit longer to build one of those out because you're building two structures. You're building a metal frame, and then you go back inside of it and build a, another house, you know, the wood frame on the inside of it. Of course, once we got in with the barn, we wanted the house, we wanted to be up here more because we could only have so many people up. I mean, we, all five of us were here at Thanksgiving last year. <laughs> in that little place. <laughs> it, was, it was a little tight with two big dogs and one little dog and five adults. But uh, I think we, um, the vision for the house, just, I'm just so happy we did it. Nothing's more important than strong bones when it comes to any home or construction project. And there's no one that we trust more than Ron Ward to do the job. He's been building amazing structures for our clients for years, and this project was no different. The foundation for this house, uh, we did our pretty much uh, gold standard foundation on it. It's a 24 by 24 spread footing. And then we build a full post tension system on top of that. We call it Oklahoma post tension because most of the contractors here in Oklahoma will not build a Texas style post tension, which is everything that's poured all at once, footing and all. And we feel very comfortable with it. Uh, Kelly and I both sleep well at night. Uh, we feel like it's the best product for this type, in this, especially in this part of the state with the soils we have. Uh, this home was, uh, has two by six exterior walls. Uh, we did a complete foam envelope, spray foam envelope with uh, about, well of course in the walls we had about five and three quarter inches of open cell foam on the roof deck. We've got somewhere between eight and 10 inches of open cell. Um, we have a high efficiency 95% LP gas furnace along with heat pumps, uh, high efficiency uh, AC unit in there, I think it's like a 16 sear, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this home ought to, ought to really perform well, and I, I think so far it has, you know. One thing I told Wayne and Eva going into this, I said, if you've never lived in a spray foam home, you're gonna be really surprised and, and pleased by how the comfort level is same, the, pretty much the same everywhere. And of course we did uh, 
very good windows. We did the, uh, the these particular windows are the Anderson series uh, casement windows. I'm a I'm a big fan of casement windows, especially for somebody that lives in the country like this, and you want to maximize your view. Basically, every window is a picture window because you don't have any dividers in it at all. And then on the energy side of it, it is a, a very, very good product for a seal. Uh, you have a three latch system on a casement window uh, versus just two latches on, on a single hung. If they were to have a, a power outage, which Wayne doesn't have to worry about, and Neva doesn't have to worry about that, we put a whole house 22K W Generac uh, backup generator on here. But if something sh should happen and that would ever fail, say in the winter time and you had an ice storm, that would be your savior right there uh, because that will work regardless. At the end of the day, home truly is where the heart is. After a successful build, it's easy to say that the work is done. However, the Spence family is prepared for the future and any growth that may come along with it. This den area is what, what it was really designated on the plans is one of the most unique plans that we've done in a long time. I tell you what, I, I fell in love with this plan when I seen it the first time. I mean, this is a great space, it's just like Cindy was saying. Uh, you can have people in here hooping and hollering uh, at a football game or whatever, and uh, close the sliding barn doors, and basically it's separate from the rest of the house. And then you have two guest bedrooms and a really nice large guest bathroom with the big soaker tub in it. But uh, one of the things that uh, I was really fond of, uh, the, the fireplace that they picked out, and uh, it, it's a gas log fireplace, uh, propane LP, but it is one of the newer models that has all the bells and whistles on it, and it, it really looks good. Uh, it looks as realistic as any gas log fireplace I've ever seen. One of the things that I've noticed when we've taken big groups to Broken Bow and other places like that, one of the things they don't necessarily have is a lot of good places to put your food when you bring it in for the weekend. So since they're here all the time, a lot of us are going to be coming out for holidays or things like that, or we're bringing friends up for visits. And you bring a lot of stuff with you and you need somewhere to put it. And rather than just put it all on the kitchen counter, which is where it usually ends up going, it's nice because we've got all the shelves in the pantry and we can kind of put everything in there and set it in there. And room for an extra refrigerator. Yeah, and an yeah. extra refrigerator, which is also something that's and needed freezer. when you bring them over. Mm -hmm. yeah, and and freezer. freezer. So, and we've got the one over in the barn, though, too, because um, we've got the extra fridge and the oven over there. So if you're really trying to cook mm -hmm. a lot, you have extra. And they're, the kids are bringing a freezer up for the barn, too. I'm, I'm afraid our nice attic up there will get filled up, too, before we know it. But Well, speaking of the nice attic, uh, I told both of them, all of them, that... Uh, I had never built a house with a future bonus room that I didn't finish. And Miss Eva told me right up front, she said, I will not finish it out because I will not clean it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it, it is a very, very going to be a nice space when whoever decides to finish it out because it's uh, downstairs, we're at, I think, 3264 on the square footage downstairs. Uh, the upstairs, Future bonus room is almost another house. It's right, right close to uh, 1,400 square foot upstairs. And good right. stand up room. It's good sound floors when you walk, it's finished yeah. out. So one thing I'd like to, to say as we wrap everything up is that this has been a very, um, very positive experience for us. Uh, you know. I'm an investor equally with mom and dad, and I have not been here as much as they have for the build. But once I met uh, Ron and saw the care that he was giving to the property and to them personally, on a personal level, it just made me feel more comfortable that we had made the right decision choosing land doctors and, and from, from buying the land all the way through to the house, it's been a very positive experience. And, and we would build again if we were crazy enough to go and buy 114 more acres. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to say too that I've had a lot of customers over the years, but at, at the end of the day, I think most of our customers have, we have earned their trust. Mm -hmm. They they knew what they wanted. Eva was great on the colors uh, and the color scheme and everything. She knew 
right here what how she wanted it to look and I think we hopefully met her expectations on that. The community is friendly and we've made friends and found church and, and we're happy here too. It's old folks so I, a church we've been in 60 years in Richardson, Texas and we're just ready to say bye bye and we're the Oklahoma people now. <laughs> Nothing makes the team here at Land Doctors happier than when a plan comes together. From the land, the vision, and the result, we're always happiest when our clients are happy. To find your dream property or to get your build started, call Kelly Hurt at area code 580-421-7512. Check out this and all of our other beautiful listings at LandDoctors.com or drop Kelly a line at Kelly at LandDoctors.com. The Land Doctors, selling beautiful land and creating custom ranches.